Are we trying to work out how that got like that? What she failed to see was that that is broken. <laughs> like all my glasses. How you going? I'm wearing a shirt. There's not many times I wear a shirt in good pants, is there, sweetheart? The times would be when you're going to look at perhaps buying something or dream about buying something that you can't afford to make it look like you've got more money than you've really got. So today, I'm hopeful to go and look at the Mercedes Ute that I heard is now in New Zealand. Have you seen them around? Ute? The Ute, yeah. No. Mike Crawford. Mike Crawford, uh, and we're looking at the 250D. Yes. It's trying to compete with Ford and, and, and Toyota at the top to get a piece of that market. How will they go with parts, do you reckon? Shouldn't be a problem. We've got most of the parts either in Singapore, Auckland, or in stock. Right, it should be competitive with the Yeah, look, opposition. I mean, there's a lot of, lot of parts that um, Ford and I'm sure the other manufacturers hold out of New Zealand. Am I right in saying that you can get a pallet on the back of this? Uh, without a boot liner, a bed liner, the black cover that goes in there, yes, you can get a standard yeah. sized pallet. Standard sized pallet, so it's, she's bigger than everything else as far as that goes. Uh, that still... It's bigger than I think the Ford Ranger was. So it's the base, is it like the Nissan? Slightly longer and slightly wider. No, it's longer than the, and wider than the Nissan. Okay. The track and size. Here we go, people. This is it. This is the first time I've actually sat one of these. Let's I've got some forwards. And up and down. And to go. Oh man. So I'm going forward now. That's a bit flasher than the old uh, dirty sheep shagger, isn't it? Can you run us through this, just a wee bit about it? Just to tell the folks what, what, what it's got that's also going to make it compete with its uh, um, Yeah, sure. So the, the X-Class comes with satellite navigation. Right. Um, which I don't know if you get that in any of the others. It has a 360 degree reversing camera, so it has a camera on the front, camera under each mirror and a camera at the rear. Um, and you can zoom in either at the front or the rear. Uh, very handy when hitching up a trailer or a boat or a caravan. A three and a half ton towing. Right. It's got plenty of towing. Takes over just over one ton payload on the back. Yep. Um, but again, you need to make sure that you're not overweight if you're towing something and got weight on the back. You know, there are limitations in New Zealand for right. that. So just be aware of that. Um, in terms of um, interacting with the navigation and your telephone, you've got a command system. So it's voice activated. So you press a button and you ask it to take you to 35 Trafalgar Street and it will set that as a destination. Gee, that'd be handy. Could it drive itself as well? Not quite, not yet. It does have lane keeping assist. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're drifting over the white lines and it believes that you're not quite in control, it will let you know and um, bring you back. It has autonomous braking. What does that mean? So it means that if uh, you're coming up behind a stationary car, yep. it will actually help you brake. Right. So if you brake and you don't brake hard enough, it will take over the braking force up to 100%. And is that based off the camera, what it's seeing, is it? It's based off radar, so it's okay. got radar as well, yes. Hell spells, it's pretty flashing it, folks. Hmm. Well, thanks for that bit of enlightenment. Gee, it's, um, I've read a wee bit about it, because there's, there's three models coming out, isn't there? There's the your standard, one they call it the Pure. Yep, so the Pure is your entry level, Yep. and that's available in a cab chassis as well. Yep. Um, then you've got your Progressive, which yep. is your middle of the range. And is the Progressive got all the same um, mechanical bits as the Pure, but just, yes. just more cosmetic outside? And, and a few more bells and whistles inside. So it's like comparing a little bit like your standard Hilux and then your SR, oh, SR5. It? SR5. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, and then what's the other one? That's... This is the Power. This one here is the Power. This is the Power? Yes. So this is the one that gets the, the reversing camera, right. the command navigation system. Um, all of those things. So the leather is uh, an optional extra. Okay. As is the style pack, which gives you the running boards, the 19-inch alloys, <sighs> mm. and a few other bits and pieces. But the the big talking point is our V6. So yep. we've got a V6 turbo diesel coming. This, this is not a V6, is it? No, this is the 2.3 turbo diesel. Right. Yeah. So the V6 arrives in the middle of next month in New Zealand. Um, wow. And that will be available in two options, Progressive and Power. Okay, so if you want to buy a V6 uh, standard without all the whistles and bells, but a V6 for, for the guy that's the off-roader, and that's the, that's the blokes that I'm talking about, the farmers, the fishermen, the hunter. Just on $81,000 plus on roads. Okay, $81,000 plus on roads. You know, you'd, you'd buy a bloody um, Toyota Land Cruiser almost for that, wouldn't you? But a totally different animal. Mm. We're, yeah, we've got a lot of interest in the V6. I'll bet, yeah. A lot of people that have driven this and gone, yeah, this is great, but when's the V6 coming? Yeah. Rightio. Yeah. Well, I want to drive it. 
<laughs> you can't drive this one. Can't drive this one? No, it's not going to let me drive it. A car salesman's not going to let me drive it. Okay, no, guys, sorry, I can't show you. You heard it from the man. <laughs> I can, um, you'll have to come back. Mm. And I don't even know if tomorrow. So I've got two yep. the demonstrators, and they're both out. Oh, they're both out right now. Yeah, okay, so, Unders understood. So this one so here. They're both out because car dealers are taking them home, or they've been demonstrated? <laughs> they've been demonstrated. They've been demonstrated, really? Yeah, yeah, no, I haven't. Straight up? Yep. Did this, did this one just come in? So no, this is, I forgot that it had come back, it came back um, today. So we actually have got one? Yes. Okay. Well, I do apologize. So I'll just pack this back. Yeah, mate. Okay. Yep. Yep. Sasha will lovely lady there. Right. Appreciate that. All right, guys. Thank you. Enjoy. This is pretty awesome, isn't it? Man, it feels good. It smells nice. Righty-o. Eh? That's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> Very good. It's watching me from above. How the hell does it's it do that? It's 360. Yeah, but that's right up high, isn't it? Bug it on, eh? It feels very comfortable, very smooth. Not like a, it's like a car. Damn. What I'm feeling is I'm feeling like I'm driving a car, not a ute. It's a real smooth ride. Doesn't feel anything like the Hilux. Feels like I'm driving in a almost like a sports car. Very comfortable. It's got so much information. Is your seatbelt on, are we? Mm-hmm. So it's giving me uh, all sorts of info on the front dash here. It's got a digital, like, speedometer. Beautiful getting steering wheel, really nice. I really want to get out in the country and just blat it. I want to take it into the scrub. It's almost feeling too good to take into the bush, are we? For a pig hunter or deer stalker or a fisherman or a farmer, I can imagine that you buy it and you really want to look after it more than you have with say your Ford or your Hilux, you'd, you'd nurse it a bit. And then what would happen, which happens with every new pair of shoes or every new camera, or every new laptop or everything that's new you buy it, it gets its first ding and then you go ah stuff it and you're gonna really like thrash it and then once you start to thrash a vehicle like this the way it's built um, just off the top of my head but I can imagine it can actually withstand quite a bit it feels really solid it feels more solid than the Hilux it feels more solid than the Ford even the Ford's pretty solid uh, I've driven a I haven't driven an armor off but I've driven a Mitsubishi and the, the Colorado, which is quite nice. All different utes, but this feels heavier, eh? Have you re uh, uh, drive the latest Ford? Yeah, I've driven the latest Ford, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've got a mate that's Th got that's one. It's quite, uh, looks like this one. It's similar to the Ford, but this feels heavier. Like the a fancy truck. Yeah, this has got more whistles and bells. I mean, without taking it off road, I can't really give it a true mm. test, but it's a bloody nice feeling ride. I mean, can't it's, imagine it's going to be off road. I know, it's very comfortable, isn't it? The seat is immaculate. Nice little film for reversing. How cool is that? How cool is that? Wow. This is a key to turn it off. It's not actually a keyhole. Check that out, no keyhole. There's a big part of me that would really like to take this thing for a good off-road run. And of course what I like to see is I like to see a snorkel, some serious mud grips, a dog box on the back, a tow bar and all the other stuff. And see what it looks like as a four-wheel drive vehicle. But I can tell you, driving it just around town, it is bloody smooth. What I'm really liking is this big area on the back. I know she's a cracker. Well, thank you, uh, Houston Prestige, for letting me take it. I appreciate that very much. I don't mean take it. I'm not going to take it home. I mean, I'd like to, but I'm taking it for a drive. Right, we better get back to the uh, car sales because they're going to close soon. They'll be closing in about oh, five minutes, and we'd hate to get stuck with a ute for the whole weekend, wouldn't we, honey? It might go back on Monday with a bit of blood on it. The smell of dog and pig. Rightio, we'll crank into it. These here don't feel so solid to me. What does yours feel like? Yeah. It doesn't feel solid, does it? You no. expect a vehicle has to be a bit more mm. robust. 
Oh yeah, she's smooth. Smells so nice. This has been a look in 15 minutes. There's a lot more. I'd love to look at this vehicle, but we don't have time because the dealership closes and I'm out soon, so we've got to get back. Wow, that was interesting. It was a cool ride. It felt more like a car than a ute. Are we? Did you like it? Mm, not that much. Didn't get you excited? But it hard too. Like hard. Mm. Bumpy. Yeah, I thought it was not that hard. It's smooth but hard. Smooth but hard. Whatever the hell that means, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but like a working dog or, or like a fancy little dog, it's combined. Okay, right over. That's how you describe it. I don't really understand, but okay. Um, this is my throw on it. It's a beautiful vehicle. It feels obviously got a lot of power. It's amazing all the uh, whistles and bells, like the the cameras. The cameras actually are operated. Um, it looks down on you, but it's actually a 360 degrees camera, which creates that image, which is amazing. And that was pretty cool. But there's other vehicles that have that. Uh, my gut feeling is this though. If I had that sort of money, and you're looking at about 81000 to buy the V6, because if I was going to buy that one, I'd be buying the V6. I wouldn't be buying the 4. I want the most power. But if I had that sort of money, you know, because you're really honestly looking at $100,000. By the time you buy the vehicle, if you're putting a snorkel, a lift kit, uh, a winch, ball bars, surround bars, canvas seats, because you're sure as hell not going to have your hunting clothes on leather seats. You're going to want to put the canvas protection over it. You, all the rest of it, you, you know, you're looking between 15 and 20 grand to really bring that right up if you're really going to pump it and not undercapitalize on the vehicle. That's what you need to spend. You know, you off road tyres, you off road wheels, all that stuff. Well, 100,000 bucks, you can buy a bloody good Toyota Land Cruiser. Yeah, new. A new one. So, would I buy one of those? I dream about it, but no, if I had that sort of money, I think I'd be in a Toyota Land Cruiser. Having said that, it's a bloody nice ride and I reckon they'll sell a few, eh? Mm. I reckon they'll sell a few. It's, it's not a bad ute. It's just me though. What are your thoughts? If you like this sort of content and you enjoyed the review, not that it was a real true review because it was all done in about 15 minutes, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, smash the like button. And most importantly of all, be good. And if you cannot be good, then do what my girlfriend does. What's that, honey? Be careful. Be careful. Alright, I'm gonna go have a drink, I'm thirsty.